Hello all, welcome to ADCM lab. In this video, I am going to discuss about the experiment pulse amplitude modulation and demodulation. Okay, first let us define what is pulse amplitude modulation and demodulation. So, pulse amplitude modulation is a pulse analog modulation scheme in which amplitude of the pulse waveform is modified or varied in accordance with the message amplitude variations. Okay, so the sample output appears like this. So here our carrier is a pulse waveform like this and in this experiment we are taking a sinusoidal input modulating signal and then the output that we are going to get is this. So amplitude of this pulse waveform is varied in accordance, ampli uh, in accordance with the amplitude variations of your modulating signal. So the envelope of PAM signal now resembles your message amplitude variations. So if you, at the receiving end, if you extract the envelope of the PAM signal, then it is in, enough for us to get PAM signal. Okay. Now let us start the experiment. So here we have PAM kit which is provided with a carrier generator, modulator and demodulator. Okay. First let us check the carrier, carrier generator, whether it is generating carrier or not. So I am going to connect the output of this carrier generator to the CRO and observe the output of the CRO. So it is displaying a pulse waveform. It is displaying a pulse waveform. So it is, it is nothing but a carrier. Now we are using this signal as carrier to our PAM modulator. Okay, now I am going to connect this carrier as RF input of this modulator. modulator. And now let us see what is the next input which we require? It is the message signal. So to generate the message signal, as I am using a sinusoidal signal, I am using this AFO to generate a 1 kilohertz sinusoidal signal. And I am connecting the output of this. Now I am connecting the output of this function generator to the CRO. Okay, like this. Now you can observe the output on CRO. It is displaying a sinusoidal wave. Now I can change the amplitude and frequency by using the knobs provided here on the display of this AFO. Now here I am using a 4 volts peak to peak 1 kilohertz signal as my modulating signal. Okay, so this is approximately 1 kilohertz 4 volts peak to peak signal. Now I am using this sinusoidal signal as my message signal. Now I am connecting this to modulator. Now let us check the output of this modulator. Now let us check the output of this modulator. For that I have connected my output of this modulator to the CRO. Now you okay. can check the output of this PA modulator. Now you are getting the PAM signal with the amplitude variations. And to keenly observe this, I am going to change the scale, time scale. Now you can observe the pulse width, pulse amplitude variations according to message amplitude variations. As the carrier frequency is very large when I compare with my message, so we can't observe the independent pulses here. Okay. Now this is PM output. This is a PAM output. You can observe. You can observe the pulses, pulse amplitude variation like this. Okay. Demodulation of PAM signal. Now the generated PAM signal is now I'm connecting this to demodulator. Now I have connected my PAM output to the input of the demodulator. Now I am going to check the demodulator output using the CRO. Now I have connected my output of the demodulator to the CRO. You can check the CRO. Now we are getting a sinusoidal waveform here. Okay, so you can check the time period of this waveform so that we can verify whether we are getting the transmitted signal or not. 
so now here it is 1 into 1 millisecond so we are getting so we have used a 1 kilohertz signal so we are getting the same 1 kilohertz signal so we are getting demodulation properly thank you